bass musician friends. This is Steve Rosati. I'm checking in with Bass Musician Magazine, and I'm bringing today the Ernie Ball Music Man 5-string 30-year anniversary edition bass. This is truly a player's bass. It is a really unique instrument with that neck. The neck is the first thing that pops out and just gives you that look. With that roasted maple fingerboard with the white dots with as the inlays, has a white binding. The white binding matches the pickup perfectly. So it gives a uh, it makes it simpatico between the nut, the binding, and the pickup. Kind of ties everything together. The neck itself is is roasted maple, just like the fingerboard. Highly figured with bird's eyes all through the the neck and and the fingerboard. It is uh, stainless steel uh, frets. Um, they're pretty high, and and I think that's the kind of the way that Music Man always is. But they feel great. The tension it's a 34 neck. 34 inch scale neck, but the tension it feels wonderful. You will never notice that it's not a that it's not a 35 or a five string. Uh, the the other thing about this bass is the weight. So when I first saw it, I thought it was going to be really heavy, but it's about 10 pounds, which is about standard I feel for about a five string bass. Plays incredible, has an incredible feel. The neck is very smooth. The, the pickup sounds incredible, just like you would expect a Music Man pickup too. The settings on this, the dials are, you have your bass, your mid, your treble, and your volume. It's a three-way toggle. The three-way toggle kind of gives you uh, the series, single coil, or parallel for the pickup. We also have the standard Music Man bridge. It's a heavy-duty Music Man bridge. Also offers a lot of sustain because whenever I think about players who, who really kill in this bass, uh, the one that comes to mind for, right away is uh, Tony Levin. I think about him and I think about how this instrument sounds as he plays it. It just has an amazing sound, amazing growl. Now they call, this is a six bolt neck. Uh, the connection point is really nice and it's perfect. It's perfectly aligned is I think the way that they say it. Uh, there's nothing about this bass that is not beautiful. Um, I, if I were truly a five string player, I, I would be all over this bass, which, you know, at some point may be a thing. Uh, so again, for the, the price of the instrument, I think it's around 24 to 25 uh, 100 street price, really worth the value. The, uh, the instrument, you will not be disappointed. Uh, everything about it is just, just Blair's music, man. And it, and it, you know, when you have an anniversary edition, you want it to be that way. And they did not miss at all in this. They hit it out of the park. Everything you're hearing here from this bass is, is truly clean because the amp I'm using is just a little uh, Phil Jones bass cub, which when you're hearing that low B inside this room, it's, it's really just clear. Um, so I want to give a big shout out to uh, Derek Brooks at Music Man and Music Man in general for sending us this bass because it does drop for pre-order on March 3rd. So right now the site is live for the information on this bass. I recommend you check it out. Give it a look see just to just to decide what you're what you're looking for because this instrument will blow you away. I would recommend getting one in your hands if you can. Um, there is nothing about this bass I would not recommend. I, I I would love to see them take this concept of this of, of this wood, uh, this roasted maple, and apply this to some of their other four strings or also the uh, cutlass and the caprice bass. I think would be a really nice feature because I think that it really makes the instrument pop. It gives it that that antique look, and also it stabilizes the neck in a lot of ways. I feel like there's very few there's there are no dead spots at all. The instrument just sings. Um, so I would say definitely they hit it out of the park on this one. Um, thanks guys, and uh, keep playing. And if you get a chance to check out the music, man, I think you'll love it.